Hello, everyone. This is Thursday, June 23rd, 2022. It's 12.50 p.m. and 21 degrees Celsius. What a beautiful day for a video, I must say. 21 degrees, that's, that's better than Toronto getting there 35 because that's too hot then, but this is, this is great. And look at that perfect, perfect blue sky up there. There's a couple of white fluffy clouds around, but nothing to worry about. So, I am on the street, adjacent to the street I live on. I'm gonna wait one more street over. And I'm not even sure of the name of it, but I'll tell you when I see a street sign, okay? I don't come up this way, this way very often because there's not much to see up here, but we're going to make our way to places where there are things to see. But I thought I'd just start my video here, and I'll tell you the street shortly. This is, this is like a back street behind all these apartment buildings. The... Uh, the street it's on, like Lakefront, is on the other side of those buildings. And this is like if you come out the back door, you're on the street there. So I will tell you the name of the street shortly. Okay. Wow, this is such a nice day out here. Don't even need a jacket on today. Isn't that great? Well, I had a nice morning so far. I took my wife to work, come home, took my son to work, came home, went out with a friend for coffee. We had sat in the Tim Hortons for probably uh, two hours. Yeah, probably close to it. More than an hour and a half, probably close to two hours. And as usual, I never ran out of anything to say. So, <laughs> I wonder how come. I can I don't know. I just something I'm born with. The gift of gab. It's not everybody has it, but some people do, and I'm one. I just always have something to say. So anyways, we are going to go look at something that I that's been under construction for a while and I'm hoping it might be done now and I can have a look at it. The lake down here where they have the kayak races, they built new bleachers and, and they're really nice. But I couldn't get in there before because it was fenced off and kind of construction and stuff like that. So I think today I might be able to get in there because I'm hoping that it's all done now. So we'll go down at the end of the street and then we will have a look and see if if it's um, done yet. And that woman probably just knows she's in my video. I steered out around her so she wouldn't get too nervous, but Joffrey Street, right there. Joffrey Street, that's the name of the street up here. Okay, I know where it goes, but this one, Sure, what they call it. Okay, Joffrey Street. So it is. All right, down over a steep hill, Halifax's hills, always hills. We always got hills to go down over and up over. But this one's going to be downhill. An absolutely perfect day, 21 degrees. You can't beat that. That's actually like the best temperature. Not too hot, not too cold, no rain, and no wind. Can you believe it? The Windy City has no wind. Somebody made a comment in one of my videos the other day and it said, 
Chicago is known as the Windy City. What about Halifax? Guess they haven't been here. Well, it's pretty windy most of the time. But today, there's no wind. Perfect for a video. Look at all the leaves, all the colors, everything out here in full bloom. Love it. This is the uh, third day of summer. Third day of summer and two days in to going the other way. The 21st was the longest day of the year for sunlight. And now we're second day away from that. So we're going the other way now, but you won't notice it for a while. It just kind of creeps up on you. All of a sudden you notice it has shortened. But for now, let's enjoy it. Enjoy all this nice warm sunshine and long days. Love it. This is a steep grade right here. Nice view out over the lake and the hills. I'm gonna be down by that lake after a bit here. I think this is the street I want right here. Singular Street. I think it goes by those bleachers. I know where it comes out down there, but that might not be what I want. I think I want this way. This is the first time I came that way. I came on a trail once and it came out in a different spot. This will be my first time from coming down that street and coming out here. I think it's what I want is right down here though. And it looks like it might be done. They built some, every year they have these, they didn't do it, I don't think while the, well the COVID was a big thing, but that's pretty much over now. We hope. And they have these uh, kayak races. It's a big deal, it's not a small event, it's a big deal. And they had bleachers here for watching that, those races, but they weren't adequate. They were, they were too small and not enough. Hope I don't get hit by a car, that's a blind hill right there. All right, we made it. You can't see anything coming until it's right over the hill. If I get down here, I might just wait for a car to come over that hill and show you what it's like. That They do have a stop sign at the top of that hill that for that reason, because you a car come up over that hill, if you were in the way, they don't doubtful if they could get stopped. All right, now, do we want to go down this way or do we want to try out the new bleachers? Let's try out the new bleachers. Let's go that way. And we'll walk right in onto that platform. There's where they have the races down there. And I think, no, I was gonna say, I think they took the old bleachers out, but I don't think so. I think they're still there. Okay, so there's where they have the races. 
in Lake Bannock. Okay, and this is the new bleachers they built. And they are great. So if you're watching those races, you can you get a really good view from up here. The other ones, I'll show you them there. The old ones were down there. And they weren't as good a view as you get up here. You much better view up here. You try to get out of these rocks. I'm walking with sandals on and getting rocks in my sandals. Why am I walking in sandals? Do you ask? Well, it's because the sun is nice and warm and I just wanted to see what it feels like to walk around in my sandals and feel the warm sun on my toes. It feels good. All right, look at this. What a view. What a view right here. So if you come in here to watch those races, you can get an absolutely great, wonderful view of the whole thing. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't this nice up here? Wow, I just gotta take it in. How beautiful it is. I can see all the way over to the bridge from here. See it? You can see it way off in the distance. I don't know if you can see it or not on here. The, the towers of the bridge. Wow. This is stunning. Great view of this place. Well, we are going to get on to these bleachers and walk right down. I got to hang on the rail in because I don't want to risk any mishaps on these steps. There we are. Now, I, can't, I, would have, I could have come that way, but I wanted to walk down those bleachers. I did, right? Okay, now I can take this paved walkway, which this used to be gravel at one time. I can take this all the way down now to the street. Wow, last time I was over here, the lawn wasn't even here. It was mud, and they were still working on it. You couldn't come up there. I'm glad I didn't because now it's finished. I just wanted to show you this spot. And they put a little park sign up there. We'll see what it says when I get down there. The maintenance people are busy mowing the grass, making it look good. Wow, this is a nice place. Look at, look at this. There's the old bleachers. Compare these. Compare these bleachers to what's up there. This is what you had. Very small amount of bleachers. And now that's what we got up there. Like there's three times the, three times the, the space up there in those bleachers. And you get a better view. However, if you're not into going all the way up there, you can use, still use these ones. They left them here too. So that's great. You got those ones as well. Well, I'm glad I came over here because that's done now. That is wonderful. We should walk through the the park here again today, I guess. We could do that, rather than just go down the sidewalk. I think we'll do that. Go up to the crosswalk and go across there. Yeah. 
And I got a button to, this must be new, I think. I got a button to push. And get across the street safely. They got lights here and button. Oh, everything new, I think. It looks new. There, you got a little swimming area right there. What a great day to do this. See all this beauty in nature here today. All the different colors and trees and leaves and flowers. One sunshine, it's perfect. Perfect day for a video, I must say. Free adult drop-ins for dragon boat, dragon boat drop-ins. Okay, bookings. But we're not gonna take a dragon boat today. We're just gonna stick to the land. However, I will walk through the park area down here. Last time I came through here, it was a little bit chilly and it was windy and it was way back in the early spring when I decided to do that. But today, it's going to be much nicer because we can take our time looking at things and we're in no hurry. We're in no hurry at all today. There's actually two lakes here. Well, one's a pond and one's a lake. Now, yeah, that's Lake Bidhook, and the other one is Sullivan's Pond. But they, I think they are hooked together. I believe uh, they connected, if I remember correctly. But we'll see when I get down here. I think they're connected. It might get loud down here. I hear something running. I'll take the advice of one of my viewers. When there's noise, don't try to talk. Because I have to talk so loud over the noise that it just makes it worse. So good advice. And I'm open to advice if it's good. And it makes sense, and that makes sense. Don't try to talk when the noise is too loud. I'm going out a little bit from that loud noise. Maybe we'll walk over here until I get by it. It is quite loud. No, you can't go that far on that path. Just a short one. We'll go stick to this. Okay, so that back there is Lake Binook, and that's the end of it. Right? You can see the whole thing from here. And then there's a little waterway right here. Just a little canal that connects Sullivan's Pond to Lake Binook. If you want me to go down and see it, okay, I'll do that. We'll walk right down, have a look at the 
the canal. There you go. There we go. And it goes right all the way through. The gates are closed right here right now, so not too much going through. And that little stream will go right down into Sullivan's Farm. And the two are connected. It's not all one lake, not all one pond. It's two things. Sullivan's Pond and Lake Benuk. Okay. Just for newcomers who might come here and, and not realize it's two different things. And just a little information there. This is a great day to do this area down here. Look at this. That's the way it is a lot of spots in Halifax. The tree cover is wonderful. Really, really wonderful, the tree cover down here. I just saw a sign back here. I gotta show the sign. Okay. The Lake Benoak Greenway. This must be the spot we're on. Greenway. Keep to the right except the pass. Cyclists must yield. Travel at safe speed. Use bike bell before passing and keep pets on a short leash. So if you're on a bicycle through here or walking a dog, keep up. Be careful with your bike and keep your dog on a short leash so it don't get hit by a bicycle. The Greenway, they call this, the Lake Benook Greenway, is the connector between Sullivan's Pond and Lake Benook. All right, if it wasn't for this little greenway here, we wouldn't be able to get through here. You'd have to go up to the street and back in. But they conveniently made that little walkway and they wouldn't you know what? There's a bus stop right here. Bus 62 stops right here. All right, we are now over. To Sullivan's Pond, isn't it beautiful? A little breeze here, right here. Probably because it's open and the water's here. There's car share, they're all over the place here in Halifax. I guess if you're signed up for car share, you probably got a nap and they'll show you where there's an available car in your area. And you can go there and get it, I would imagine. With the technology today, that's probably how it works. Me, I don't have any need for such a service, but some people do. There are some people who commute to work with car share because they don't, they don't, you know, parking is expensive, so they they just take a car share to work. I know people work up in the, I don't know them personally, but I know of them work at the university and they drive the car up there early in the morning to park it then when they get off work it might not be there because somebody else may use it but I guess it's uh it's a cheap way to to get around by car you just you don't have to pay for insurance or all that stuff so. licensing Well, it's not something I need to do, but I just saw the car there, so I thought I'd just uh, talk about that for a minute. The Rotary Club of Dartmouth, 25th anniversary bandstand. So I would say if there's a if there's a big concert on that bandstand right there, you will be sitting up here on this hill on the grass, watching it. Oh, there's some seats up there too. To get her early, <laughs> you can get one of those seats. I was out the boardwalk one day, busking, and. 
I never thought of it in time, but next time I will. Next time I go down there, I'm gonna show a little bit of me playing on the boardwalk. Find somebody to hold my camera for a couple of minutes while I play and just show him with one of my one of my videos. So you can see see the lightning hands of mine in action on the on the guitar. It's going by, it's gone now. There's a nice little water display out there in the middle of Sullivan's Pond. This pond is right downtown in Dartmouth. It's not like way out in the country, it's, it's, it's right downtown, so. Not, not downtown where the stores are, but you're not far from it. I would call this downtown here. Downtown Dartmouth for sure. I'm just gonna take a look at my uh, screen here and see if I can see how long I've been going. Wow, almost a half an hour. Can you imagine? We'll get an hour video out of this, no problem. We already got 26 minutes in. So for sure we'll get an hour out of this. All the senior citizens sitting out here, looking over the water. I haven't reached that stage yet where I need to walk over here and sit. I'm still in the walking all, all day stage. I don't plan on going to the next stage for quite some time yet. I'm gonna keep walking, keep moving. My advice to anybody who's uh, turned 65 or 68 or whatever you retire at, don't stop moving. Don't, don't go home and put your feet up and start watching TV now because you're retired. Get out there, do stuff, keep moving, and your body won't be sorry for it. Your body will reward you for doing that. It'll keep you healthy, strong, and out of the hospital. I had to go one visit, but it had nothing to do with that. I had to get a cataract surgery. I'm waiting for the second eye, and then I'll be like really good shape. I see a hundred times better than I could before, but I, I still need to do the other eye. I'm just waiting. I'm on the list. I understand there's a long list. So I was lucky to get in and get one done. And they said on the paper that I will get called in four to six weeks. Well, my six weeks is up and I haven't heard anything. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I do want to look back over. Look at this tree. Isn't that beautiful? Do I look back over Sullivan's Pond from a different angle? I do, so you probably do too. This is the spot in one of my videos I met the guy that had the boats. If you happen to see that video, he, he builds these uh, boats. They're, they're just like the real thing, but they're just uh, <coughs> models. They're radio controlled. And he goes out in the water here with them. Sorry, there I go. Not COVID, it's just a little bit of uh, bronchial uh, sinus problems and bronchial that I've had since I was a kid. <coughs> so, don't worry, I'm good. There's the war memorial where they come in on Remembrance Day. Remembrance Day celebrations. Yeah. 
Well, let's see. What do you want to do now? We've come through the park. I'm asking, but I know you can't tell me because by the time you hear me, I won't be here. I'll be somewhere else. All right. Let's go out to the sidewalk then. I think I'll take a walk uptown. Got the, you want to do that? Okay, sounds good. Sounds like fun. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take a walk uptown. Downtown. From where I am, I say it's uptown, but if you're downtown already, you say, you say going downtown. If you're just on the edge of it, which we are right now, so I guess I could say downtown. If you're doing a big job at the ferry terminal, I might go there again today because it'd be nice to keep up with, with what's going on. I read a lot, quite a while ago, probably a year ago now, that, you know, things happen slow. They, they, uh, they go through the planning stage and studying it. Eventually they get around to doing the thing that they talk about. Well, one of those things was getting new ferry boats. I think I heard they're electric. Get new ferry boats and upgrading the terminals and building a new terminal. Well, it was going to be adding a boat and replacing the ones we have. So, three new ferries, one new terminal, and two upgraded terminals. This is what we're supposed to be getting in Halifax. So, right now we have Woodside, we have Dartmouth ferries running. They're supposed to be putting one up to Bedford. So you'll be able to catch a, a ferry in Bedford as well when this is all done. So I can only presume that might be what they're doing. When you see the when you see the mess going on down there at the ferry terminal, you might, might probably agree that that's what they're doing down there. Yes making room for the new boat. And see, they got to upgrade the terminals because the, the new ferries are a different style. And they won't dock into the docks that we have now. They have to, uh, they have to do something different. All right, we're going to head over, I guess, towards Portland, Portland Street, I think, I think this will get us there. Hard to say. There's a company my wife works for. He's doing the same job, but in a different area than she is. I can't say enough about them. They're a great company. Midland Courier, great company. Anybody out there in Halifax looking for a courier, contact Midland. And they never told me to say that. I'm just saying that because my wife works there and she has nothing but good to say about that company. But that's strange for her because if she didn't like something, she'd be complaining. She really does like it there. So there you go. You heard it right from the the horse's husband. <laughs> they always say you heard it from the horse's mouth. Well, you heard it from the horse's husband's mouth. Okay, my recommendations. If you, they're a great courier. I'm not saying the other ones aren't. I know nothing about the rest of them. I can say Midland's a great company to work for.
we got to get ourselves over to Portland somehow here, which is kind of that way. I think I'll go down over the hill. That might be the easiest. There we go. I go down over the hill. Yes, I think if I go this way, it will be my quickest route. Street closed to local traffic, but not today. The gate's just there in case they need it. But not today. So my next destination and probably my final destination for this video will be the ferry terminal because you want to take a look at what they've done down there so far. It looks like quite the mess right now, but we'll see. I think we can make some, some uh, predictions as to what might be going on there. I think they're preparing to upgrade the terminal and and make room for the new ferry boats. I believe that's probably what it is. Okay. Most motorists are polite around here. If you're trying to cross the street, they'll stop and let you across. I say for mo most of them, there's always exceptions. But for the most part, they're good. And I gotta say, for anybody watching this video, I watched some other videos about some cities and things. And some cities have just awful conditions. Unbelievable how bad it is. Halifax doesn't have any of that. Yeah, our very worst neighborhood is better than, than, than that, way better. So that's one thing we got going here. We got, we do have some poor neighborhoods and some that aren't doing too good, but even those ones aren't as bad as some cities. I won't name them because 
I'm sure they have a lot of good in those days. There's just parts of it that is really bad. But we don't have that here. You can go downtown here. You couldn't find a, a bad street in downtown Halifax or in Dartmouth. Anyone who comes here will tell you they love how Halifax looks. And the people have told me on my videos, they said they, they love the way the city looks, how beautiful it is. And one of my viewers, he made the trip down here and stayed awake to, to look at Halifax. And I don't think he was disappointed. I think he was quite happy with what he saw. Whoops, I'm taking a, a diagonal trip across this time. That's no, okay. Not supposed to, but... Yes, well, as I was saying, one of my viewers, he's from Nanaimo, BC. He's been watching all my videos and he's made the trip down here just to see this beautiful city. And he was quite impressed with our waterfront and other things, beautiful streets. So my, I'll give a little shout out to Timothy in Nanaimo. I'm back on the streets here doing more videos to show to my fellow Canadians in Nanaimo, in Vancouver, and Calgary, and Winnipeg, and Toronto, and Montreal, and Halifax, and other parts all over the world. I get, I get comments from India, from Portugal, from Mexico. I got a lot of people commented from Mexico. Uh, I straighten my straighten my aim up here a little bit. There we go. I wasn't kidding when I said you get a lot of shade in the summer from the trees, was I? Oh, you know, it's, 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 you only walk in the sun so long and then you got shade again. Hey, guess what? The street is going to bring us right down to the ferry terminal. Couldn't have planned that any better if I tried. That's going to save us a little bit of time. Let's just check and see what we're at. 44 and a half minutes right now. Almost 45. By the time I finish this video, we'll be almost an hour. I'll be another five or six minutes walking. And then my, I might just go down in the park and finish off looking across at the water, across the water at the city. Something like that, maybe. Which will bring us up to about 55 minutes. Close to an hour. And then I'm going to pack up my equipment and go into the ferry terminal and get myself a coffee and go sit down upstairs where the seats are and enjoy my afternoon. Or maybe I'll just stay outside, sit on a, on a park bench. 
down here in the in this area. Might do that. I'm so indecisive. It's my nature, always been that way. Started out to do one thing and change it before I get there. There's a nice little spot right there too, a little, little park. It's called the Joe Howe Park. I showed that before in one or two of my videos. Right across from the ferry town. Now we gotta push our button here. Can't take no chances down here. The light has turned yellow. Now we're about to get our walk. There we go. And this is the Alderney Gate Ferry Terminal. There, a little bit of shade for a few minutes. I'll go down by the water to finish this video off. Okay, they always try to look for a good background when I end my videos. I don't know why, it's just something I like to do. Whoops. There we go. Oh, my, my phone's getting out of focus here. didn't know what I was trying to tell it. All right, let's go down the stairs. First thing I'm going to show you is all this excitement going on in front of the ferry terminal. I can only imagine that this is going to be preparing for the new boat and upgrading the terminal. They put strapping up there on the side of that. Looks like they're going to put some new covering on there shortly. We can get down to the water. You just can't go through here. We can go into the park and then over. Oh, they're pouring cement today. One there, one there. See, this is a big, a big project underway here. And they've already run some cement over there. Let's walk over and see if we can get a, a better look at what's going on. We got one wall already run. It looks like another one's going to be right here. They have to put those piles in, and then they, then they drain the water all out. And then they put cement in, they're pouring cement right now. As we speak, they're pouring cement in. Yes, this is going to change everything. You can see there's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of, this used to be all walking area. Now there's every kind of machinery in here. So, that's... Yeah, that's what they're doing. I would suppose they're getting ready for the new boat. But 
That's just a guess. No one has told me that yet. But with the information I have and what is going on, I can only suppose that's what they're doing. Okay, this should do it right here. So we're pointing right at the McDonald Bridge. If you enjoyed this video, push that like button, that thumbs up, and I'll know you yeah, like this video. It's always encouraging to see those likes. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I'd love it if you just push that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, it will help me out. And that would be really nice. And if you are a subscriber, my thanks to you for becoming a subscriber. So, and with that, I'd just like to say, take care, be safe, have a great day, and we'll talk to you all later, okay? Bye for now.